let discuss about the process variable after cavity fills so there are several parameter that must be monitor and control at cavity fill and after fill these parameter are impact pressure the impact pressure is the highest hydraulic head uh, pressure measured by the pressure transducer near the end of cavity fill the impact pressure is critical with regard to flashing and dimensional control issue related to die and uh, slide blow problems the impact force is combination of static force from the residual uh, accumulator pressure at the point of impact and kinematic force from the stopping of the moving mass of the hydraulic flume <coughs> short end components and the metal two means used by the industry to control impact pressure are programmable short control system that are capable uh, to declarating the short system near the end of cavity fill another is soft shot technology a series of specially designed overflow positioned at the position of final filling in the cavity die the purpose of which is to stall out the kinetic energy of the short system <clears throat> so now we have a, another variable is called impact position the impact position is the plunger position when the impact pressure occurs this uh, position is critical because it should be used to calculate other critical position points within the process the critical position points are overflow gate position the metal at in gate position and the sleeve full position impact position is affected uh, by pore weight flashing slide blow and die temperature this item needs to be monitored this item may need to be controlled using the appropriate technology if impact variation cause process problem so now we have a another uh, variable intensification metal pressure the intensification metal pressure is the metal pressure typically in uh, pound per inch applied to the biscuit during the intensification phase of shot it is best to calculate the metal pressure which is the intensifier accumulator pressure multiplied by the hydraulic cylinder area then divided by the plunger area to understand the pressure on the metal uh, during intensification it is known that pressure tight casting or casting require low level of porosity may require intensification metal pressure of at least 8000 psi to 20000 psi the calculation uh, you can find out on my youtube channel all right almost all calculation you can find otherwise you can comment what uh, which calculation you are not able to find on my youtube channel so i will definitely make video on uh, same all right so now we have another uh, variable hold metal pressure right and so this is only for hot chamber this variable you can find in hot chamber only so hold metal pressure is the average metal pressure held after the impact position hold metal pressure can affect shrinkage porosity small plunger diameter cause larger hold metal pressure while large plunger cause lower hold metal pressure intensification is stroke right intensification is stroke and you can find this variable in cold chamber digesting machine the intensification stroke is the distance traveled after the impact position the intensification stroke indicate how much shrinkage volume in the casting is replaced during the intensification this value can be compared to the short volume to determine the percent of percentage of shrinkage eliminated during the intensification average overflow fill velocity is another variable after cavity fill the average overflow fill velocity can either be the plunger velocity during overflow fill or the overflow gate velocity during the overflow fills this value is an important determinant of impact force if the plunger velocity during the overflow fill is close to the fill velocity the impact force may be too high because the plunger did not declarate much as the overflow fill if this value is between 1/3 and 1/2 of the plunger velocity during fill the impact force should be minimized if this value is below 1/3 or plunger velocity during fill the peak 
impact pressure may occur before the overflow fills. If the peak impact pressure happens before the overflow fill, the overflow may not be venting air and dirty metal well enough and flashing problem may occur. This is a very important uh, thing you can check for flashing. Plunger drift velocity and uh, this is variable only you can find in hot chamber. So please uh, note down. The plunger drift is the plunger over travel after impact. The majority of the movement during plunger drift is leakage of metal by the rings in the hot chamber system. The best way to measure this is by rate of movement or velocity. Maximum standard for plunger drift velocity should be set by plant or by job. If the plunger drift velocity is standardly exceeded, the machine is no longer maintaining adequate metal pressure as the casting is freezing. If this occurs, the rings, plunger or goose neck may need to be changed. Okay, to calculate the above parameters uh, at cavity fill and after cavity fill, several other process variables must be uh, determined. First is impact velocity. This is the velocity required by the monitoring system to detect the impact pressure. The impact velocity is typically between 5 and 12 inch per second. The monitoring system should start at the end of the velocity data array and look backwards in the data array to find when this velocity was first exceeded. Then the monitoring system can look for the peak pressure which would be identified as the impact pressure within a range of uh, time and uh, unit will be millisecond before and after the impact velocity is found. The second parameter uh, end of short velocity this is determined by assigning velocity at which impact has occurred. Some monitoring system can be armed to begin looking for the velocity. As the die becomes full and the plunger has now I have to go to the uh, velocity reduced very quickly. This technique is very good at finding the impact position. A good way to find the impact pressure is to define a window uh, is equal to uh, you can say 50 milliseconds after the impact position and then take the greatest, greatest pressure see on the head side pressure. Alright, so hydraulic cylinder area, the hydraulic cylinder area is the hydraulic cylinder diameter squared multiplied by, by pi by 4. Plunger area, the plunger area is equivalent to the plunger diameter squared multiplied by plung, uh, pi by 4. Overflow volume, the overflow volume is the overflow weight divided by the liquid metal density. 